I always do creams and then powder. Guys, I'm using my fingers, like you can do this. What are your thoughts on picking your embryo? Hi guys, happy December. We are doing, actually, I actually don't know if I said to you guys here on YouTube, but I did announce it on my newsletter that my videos are gonna start going up on Sundays. I was about to say happy Friday. Happy whenever you're watching this. I put up a question box on Instagram and I was like, what do you guys wanna see? How can I be of service to you beauty wise? Holiday hair, holiday makeup. Really, which is just like creative ways to do your hair and makeup for like a more formal event for a more special occasion. So yes, it's kind of in the vein of holiday right now because that's the time of year we're in. But really this just applies if you're like, I wanna feel more doll up and I want some tips and tricks for how to do that. But I do have my hair in one kind of really simple way to wear your hair, which is like a sleek bun or ponytail. Mine's like a little baby ponytail because my hair is short now, just like a pretty ribbon. I posted on Instagram and TikTok a quick little tutorial on how to do like a soft, more kind of glam wave. So you could try that. I'll also do some hair videos longer form here on YouTube. Those are what I have up right now. Today we're gonna do two simple, basic holiday makeup looks in this video. So I'm gonna do my skin prep the same cause it's kind of how I would do it either way. And then I'm gonna show you guys a bolder lip, a pretty red lip. And then I'm gonna take off that lip, keep the rest of it, and then kind of show you how to enhance the eye. It's like one makeup with like two different options to go depending on what you wanna enhance. I thought that would be the most helpful and like avoid being redundant. I'm gonna start with my complexion. It is once again, too late to be drinking a matcha, but it's a busy week. It's been a busy week and next week is really busy. And then we are in surgery mode. I have clean prep skin right now and I'm gonna go in with the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I like this because it is really simple and it is really nice to have something like this because it kind of acts as a concealer and a complexion product in one. This is really a beginner makeup. Merit, Westman Atelier, a lot of different brands have these kind of like one stick products. And again, it kind of doubles as foundation and concealer in one because the coverage is sort of buildable and customizable. I'm using this IT Cosmetics Dual Brush. I really like to use a more dense kind of brush like this for buffing out this type of product. And you can see it buffs in really, really nicely. This formula is gorgeous. Westman Atelier is definitely more luxury beauty. Whether you use Westman or not, this application and this kind of complexion product, they're all going to work similarly. They're just going to have slightly different finishes. What I like about the Westman one is that it's a really kind of natural satin finish. It's not super matte, but it's not super dewy. You're going to see some imperfection on my skin, which is totally fine. I don't look completely blanked out, which is always how I hate how that looks on me. Don't forget around that nose. You can always use the other side of the brush, get in certain areas. I weighed share. I I weighed share. I wear shade Atelier too. We're gonna go in with a cream blush. I always do creams and then powders. I'm using Dreamer, which is a pretty neutral blush to me. Definitely truly a neutral peachy pink. Um, and that's what I wanted. And just to kind of give you a point of comparison, like at last is going to be a little bit more mauvey pink. All of me is going to be more of a peach. And so this is kind of a hybrid of those. I like to put it on the back of my hand just because I like to warm it up that way. And I'm applying it kind of like pupil and back. And then I like to like bring it up a little bit, kind of like where I would put highlight on my nose when I have some left over. How nice is that? If you feel like your skin is super dry, you can always apply like a hydrating mist in between steps. Sometimes I do that, I'll do that at the end. Because it is the holidays, I am gonna go in with a little bit of a highlight. I don't always do highlight. This is the Glow Sculpt from Say. And it is like a pretty, I can kind of swatch it, kind of champagne-y situation. And I'm using a tulip brush and I'm just dusting it high point of the cheek and then I'm pulling it into the blush a little bit too. I like to do a little bit on the cheek as well. Added a little bit of like a bronziness to my makeup. Like that is just so freaking pretty. Okay, now I'm going to set my complexion before I keep going. I'm gonna use the Say Air Set and I'm going to use a semi-concentrated brush. And I do set it mainly in my T-zone and everywhere. And then once there's not much left on the product, uh, on the brush, again, I'll kind of just like dab it around. I don't find that like the products, the, che the cream products on my cheeks move that much because I'm gonna do a little bit of powder bronzer that will kind of set the cheeks a little bit too. So I just dusted it with a little bit of the loose powder. I am using the Makeup by Mario bronzer on my forehead. I am definitely more of a powder 
bronzer lover. And again, you could always skip the bronzer. You could always skip the highlight. This is a pretty basic application, but I'm still like making it a little bit more glam than just like concealer and mascara. For eyes, I'm gonna go in with a cream eyeshadow from Ilia called Cork. I've showed you guys this before. It is a matte brown cream. Apply it to my lid and then buff it in with a brush. And these are nice. Once they're dry, they're dry. And I'm just going under my eyelashes a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry down fully. I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 multi-liner in the shade Draw Me. It's a pretty brown, and I'm just going to do that in my upper lash line as tight to my lashes as possible. I kind of taper it closer I get to my inner. And then I'm gonna go in and just pull it out just for a little Wing. Same thing on this side. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna use a little angle brush and kind of buff that out. Did you guys see? I'm using a little angle brush. Taylor Swift finally dropped You're Losing Me on streaming. I have been like listening to that song like on YouTube. It is such a beautiful slash depressing song. You see, just pull that out. You could also do this with eyeshadow if you don't want to use a pencil. And then Jack Antonoff came out and said this song was written in 2021. Why are they trying to kind of like clean up the timeline is what I'm wondering. I think, and I, this is the theory that I'm agreeing with, is that her and Travis are getting serious and they're gonna get engaged soon. And I think that she doesn't want people to think she's been married before. Not that it matters, but I think she's like, it's just not true. And then this is like my first marriage, creating like a clearer timeline of separation for Taylor and Joe. So people, again, not it's that it's their business, but people aren't like, oh, she just broke up with Joe. It's like, no, her and Joe are breaking up in 2021. So anyways, that's what I think. I always like a little mascara on the bottom lash line, nothing crazy, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with my bronzer and I'm just gonna put a little bit in that crease just to add a teeny, did a, a teeny bit of depth to the eye. I'm gonna do some brow gel. Okay, I kind of have a random personal tangent question. What are your thoughts on picking your embryo? I go back and forth about what I even think I think I want. Sometimes I want girl, sometimes I want boy. I can picture myself with both. I'm just curious, like, do you leave it up to the doctor? We are super fortunate. We have a lot of embryos on ice and our first two ranking, our best five AAs is one boy and one girl. And she was like, I can't say this one looks better than this one. Like they are the same. I'm like, okay, so do we like let her like flip a coin? I know so many friends that like thought they wanted one thing. They got another thing. They're happy with that. Some of them like still wish they had one or the other one. And it's like, you don't always get what you think you want in life. So why should, why do I think I want a girl or want a boy? We're gonna go in with the red lip first. I'm gonna do a neutral lip liner with the red lip. Personally, I don't love a red lip liner. I think uh, having a slightly more neutral lip liner, this is the, the one that Disky got into. I have a cleaner one for my makeup kit, but this is the one that I'm using now. So I'm going to use Work of Art, which is the slightly lighter Tower 28 multi-liner. I'm gonna line and fill my lips in. It like adds a little bit of depth to the red, which I like. And then I'm gonna go in with Tango by Ilia. And I think this is a really pretty, this is a blue based red. I mean, reds feel so holiday to me. I typically do that. Cause I like to see like kind of where my natural lip kind of falls in line, fill in. Can I have a to some toilet paper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bye doll. You Thank you. Roll, you have a roll over here, do you want me to give it to you? No, I like to blot a little bit of the excess just so it's not overflowing with pigment. So I want it to look nice and clean, um, but I just don't want it to feel like there's too much. Next, I'm gonna go in with my finger. I'm going to suck my finger in a very appropriate way to remove any makeup or lipstick that was on the back of my lips. And then I am gonna go in with the translucent powder that we used earlier. Around my lips. And that is number one. That's a really pretty red. You can put a lip gloss or something on on top of this. The thing about putting a lip gloss on or putting like anything that has movement to it is that it's going to potentially make the lip color bleed a little bit. This is like a more matte 
formula. There's a creaminess to it, but if you're feeling like you might be a little bit dry, you can always do like a dab of um, lip color. So this is how it is like this. I could always do a little bit of any lip gloss and just kind of go in the middle. That's gonna just add the most slight bit of creaminess to the lip. You saw how little I did. Any more than that, it might pull up that red color and make it travel past your like natural lip line. That is option one with this as your kind of base and your eye. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm just putting a little bit of the Atelier on my lips to kind of neutralize them again. Okay, so now we're back to where we were before the red lip. Here's the thing I spend too much time thinking about. Is Taylor Swift gonna wear a red lip for her wedding to, tra to Travis? Because like you're talking, like you're drinking, you're like, you're kissing, but it's like her signature look, but like, it's just not that practical for a wedding. Now she's gonna have Lori Turk, her makeup artist there, of course, or does she do a red lip for the ceremony and then change it for the reception? Kind of like what we're doing now. Anyways, okay. If you don't wanna do a red lip and you wanna keep the eyes more of the focal point, I'm going to go in with a, more, a darker brown color. I mean like this fluffy brush, but not so fluffy that I have control over where that product's going. And I'm gonna kind of just dab that in the corner of my eye. Mob Beauty M28, almost like a V shape this way and then that way. So the reason I took off the red lip is because the eyes are getting a little dark for my preference to have a red lip with. So we're keeping everything the same. We're just adding a little bit more depth with that darker brown. This is still pretty basic. The brush is doing the work for me. It's just a dark brown. And I'm really trying to kind of keep that in the crease. I'm trying to keep the color on my lid lighter. I really want to keep that carved out shape. I'm going to go in with this kind of shimmery, almost like copper color. And I'm gonna tap that in the center of my lid. And now that's in the center of my lid. So now you can see the slight difference with it and without it. And this works with literally any shimmer you want. M46 from Mob Beauty. And I'm just tapping it in with my finger over my lid. And that looks kind of nice on its own. Kind of keep playing. You could layer a slightly pinkier color on top of it or the gold color would look pretty on top of it. They all kind of complement each other. I went in, I'm going in with the pink M45 one and I'm literally doing right at the center of my lid. Simple, really. Like guys, I'm using my fingers. Like you can do this. So that's using two different shimmer colors and one darker brown color to the eye look to make it more dramatic. Pull a little bit of that copper color underneath as well. And again, you could do this with a lighter shimmer, the darker shimmer that I did, or even just the dark brown. If you just want to add more brown to the look and not deal with the shimmer, you don't have to. You can keep it in the matte brown family. I'm going to use the Tower 28 Fill Me In liner, which is a little bit more pink and a little bit more natural. And I'm going to line and fill in. Gloss, I'm going to do Na Na from Westman Atelier. And it's like a pinky nude. Okay, so that's option two, a slightly more bronze kind of smokier eye with a more kind of pink natural lip. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget my newsletter goes out every Sunday. That sign up will be linked below. Everything will be linked on my Shop My Shelf, which is an affiliate link. Feel free to shop via that or just use it as like a shopping reference point. And that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.